Shave your balls, she'll love it. <laughs> that kind of stuff, it's like, what? Okay, guys. Right then. Yesterday, or some other day, a day, whether this even goes out or not, I did a topic uh, about um, about female beauty and uh, the media and the jazzles, really, and the 70s bush. Uh, but now I'm just going to do the masculine version of it and talk about how we as men are bombarded by similar things from the media. And from everywhere around us to look like these 300 Spartan warriors. And how women have like... Everyone knows that women are attracted to muscly, ripped men. Okay? It's, it's just a fact of life that, you know, it, it goes down to the, the natural selection and all that sort of shit, doesn't it? The fittest, you know, the fittest will survive and all that sort of type of shit. But, I mean, it's not, it's barely talked about how much it affects men. You know? Why the fuck did you do that, you weirdo? It's rarely talked about, but it's it's always there, just as much as it is for women. We all we're all getting battered by pretty much every fucking day by this. You have to look like a stunning god. You know, you have to be the best. I mean, I'm all for being great. I'm not like being great. I'm all for like self improvement and shit. I'm always for learning. I'm always for self improvement, and I always think you should try to be better than you are the previous day. I mean, that, that's not the same for these vlogs. These vlogs, like, quickly devolve into, like, shit. I mean, I started off pretty high. Well, I started off low, and now I went lower. And now I'm pretty much subterranean with my vlog uh, topics. But anyway, here's the exercises you should do to be stronger. Here's the top ten exercises. Here's the food you should be eating. Here's everything you should be doing to be strong and ripped and godlike. Because if you're godlike, the women will, will jump at you. They will jump at your legs spread. You know, this is what this is what we're bombarded with. And now we're bombarded with fucking male cosmetics and shit. I joined a gym like once when I was fucking 19 and quickly decided that wasn't for fucking me. I'm for working out, but I just like doing it on my own, you know? On my own terms, this is what I'm doing. So I do everything at home. You know? You'll save a shitload of fucking money. You save a shitload of money if you decide to do everything at home. You really will. Because I, I hate that gym. Oh, that. Oh, I'm just gonna break and let this fucker in. I hate that gym, uh, you know, that whole match up. I've got to lift. Because the gym I went to, it was it was like that. It wasn't a big, a big fancy gym, you know, your LA fitness shit or your virgin gym stuff. It was when he's rough. Everyone's on fucking steroids. And, and they're clearly they're just openly taking steroids, you know? Just to bulk up, man, to get bigger ripped. So they go out, man, and get some pussy. Yeah! You know, it's that type of shit. And I fucking hate that shit, man. Because that's, that's, is that all they do it for? Man, I'm going to get jacked up, man, so I can get some pussy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Burr. You know, that, I hate that fucking shit. That masculine wankers. The alpha male shit, I fucking hate it. You know? Men are going out waxing. You like waxing the legs and shaving and shit like that. Shave your balls, she'll love it. <laughs> that kind of stuff, it's like, what? Um, again, we've gone on for hundreds of thousands of years. I mean, seriously, cock and balls aren't pretty. That's why they're tucked away, all right? They ain't pretty in any way, shape or fucking form. I don't care who you fucking are, all right? And they're never going to be. So, shaving them... I, 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 oh. <laughs> I don't get it, man. Oh, I don't get a lot of things. But this whole... It's going into metrosex... Is it going into metrosexual? Where you start like... I mean, if you started doing your eyebrows... I mean, I went on the other day about how I... 
accidental. <laughs> Had my eyebrows threaded by some dude in Turkey because I went in for a shave and, you know, that was just part of it, apparently. But, I mean, if you're going out actually seeking for it done, I mean, that's... Is that not too far? I mean, I suppose if you've got, like, a uni bro, you know, and, and a seriously, bro seriously bush it, then I can understand it, but just to have it done for... to have them shaped and... Ugh, seriously, is that all your life is? You know? Is that all your life is about, is how you look? Then fuck me. You need to have something else in your life, matey. Before you care about the looks. But if all anyone cares about in looks in your life, then fuck them off. Just fuck them off. Don't matter who it is, if they just give a shit about you for your looks, just fuck them off. Because the, 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 the baseless, vacuous people, I think. This is my own opinion, obviously. I, I just hate all of this vain fucking society that we've become. You know? Just fucking hate it. Look like David Beckham, blah, 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 blah. And then all the women convince themselves that all men can look like David Beckham. It's not fucking true. It's not true. We can't all look like David fucking Beckham. We can't all look like George Clooney. We can't all look like Brad Pitt, you know? We can't all look like the dude from 300, Gerard Butler, you know? We can try. But, you know, I mean, they're all, they're people who are in the media, aren't they? So they all have people around them. They have this big support network to get them into this shape and to get them in and to have these looks and stuff like that. The man on the street, we don't have that type of stuff. We've got to push it ourselves even harder. And your self-esteem gets knocked back every time. You know, by these adverts with the, these models on. They should put, I hate adverts with models in. There's that head and shoulders one. And head and shoulders, if you don't know what it is, it's an anti-dandruff shampoo. Okay, and this head and shoulders thing, you And this head and shoulders advert has this male model in, clearly a male model, who's never had dandruff in his fucking life, you know? And it's like, he doesn't know what flakes are and all that type of shit. And it's like, he's clearly not a man who has had dandruff. He's got the most chiselled jaw I've ever seen. It's so chiselled, it could probably break a rock open. Or a coconut or some shit. And it's like, why don't you just use a real person who's actually had fucking dandruff? And shows your shit working. And the reason is, is because it doesn't fucking work for everyone. Oh, see! Polite. Oh, Skeggy Cruiser's on about those polite high visits. And I disagree with them completely. I think it's too close. Too close to the fucking bone. And really, if someone's not paying attention to you, that high vis with polite on the back ain't gonna make a bit of fucking difference. Not a bit of fucking difference. Some cunts not looking, some cunts not looking. <laughs>